All right, number three. Numbers pops in here. Number three, uh, we want to use the prime factors method, find the least common multiples of 96 and 42. All right, so we're going to write down both those numbers. We're going to find the prime factorization. All right, so this number, if we it's even, we can divide by two. We can also divide by three, which would be a better, it's a bigger number, because nine plus six is fifteen. That's divisible by three. So let's divide by three. Nine goes into three three times, and six two times. Uh, oh, I should go to three down. Three three times thirty two will give us ninety six. All right, and then this number that's prime. This number is even, so we can divide by two. Uh, two and sixteen. And then we can do this uh, 2 and 8, and then 2 and 4, and then 2 and 2. So we've got a lot of 2's here. Okay, so all the way primes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2's and a 3. So 2 to the 5th power times 3. All right, with 42, uh, that's also even. We can divide by 2. 4 plus 2 is 6, so we can divide by 3, which is a bigger prime number. So let's divide by 3. 3 goes into 4 once and into 12 four times. And then we can break this down to 2 times 7, and both of those are prime. All right, so 2, 3, and 7. So 2 times 3 times 7. All right, so we got both prime uh, factorizations. Now, when you want to find the least common multiple, LCM, you have to take all the factors, so 2, 3, and 7. That's all the different numbers that are listed, 2, 3, and 7. And then you take the largest exponent. So out of the 2s, the biggest one is 5. Out of the threes, they're the same, so just one three, and there's only one seven. So this will be your least common multiple. We have to multiply this out. So this is uh, this part right here is the same as 96. We just add a seven. So if I was to do 96 times seven, that gives us 42. And 63 plus four, 67. Okay. So this would be the least common multiple, 672. Okay. Now, first, they want you to write the prime factorization of 96, which is what we did first. So we're just going to say 2. You can click this little exponent box right here, and then write your fifth power, and then times 3. All right, then prime factorization of 42 was just 2 times 3 times 7. All right, and once you have both of them, the least common multiple is, and you don't write it in this form, you always have to multiply it out, okay? So, 672. All right, so again, we're going to do prime factorization method to find least common multiples of 75 and 189. So they're kind of forcing your hand here because they want the prime factorization of 75. So you have to know how to do that method. So 75. I think about quarters. This is 3 times 25. And then 25, 5 times 5. So prime factorization is 3 times 5 squared. All right, and then the other number was 189. So I can see that this is divisible by 3. I think I saw this number before. 3 goes into 18 6 times, into 9 3 times. We can divide by 3 again. Goes into 6 twice and 3 once. And then 3 times 7. Okay, so 3 cubed times 7. 3 to the third times 7. So there are two prime factorizations, and then when you get the least common multiple, you 
list all the factors, so 3, 5, and 7, 3, 5, and 7, and then the highest exponent, uh, 3, and then 2. All right, and then we got to multiply those out. So let's do that. Hello, at five. Three, times three times three, times five times five. Uh oh, that's eight. Times five times seven. Three threes, two fives, and a seven, forty-seven, twenty-five. Forty-seven, twenty-five. Okay. So now let's just enter it. With seventy-five, three. I'm just gonna type it all out instead of doing the power. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with eighty-nine. Three threes and a seven. And then the forty-seven twenty-five. 